So, in this class we will be looking at the word embedding using word to wake uh, and I will be taking you through the, the concepts uh, applied in the word to wake. This was developed by Google uh, in the early 2013 or 14 and I will be uh, taking you through the code as well as through the uh, techniques and also through the mathematical equations on how word embeddings are created uh, using the neural, neural network using two different concepts. Before uh, we get into that, uh, I am sure uh, you are familiar with the word embedding that we discussed earlier in the latent semantic indexing or latent semantic analysis, uh, where uh, we actually uh, decomposed a matrix into three components. I hope you remember that, right. Uh, when you uh, decompose a matrix that consists of uh, term documents, it gives you uh, three different matrices. One is the left singular matrix, other one is the right singular matrix and then the middle one we call it as the singular matrix, right. Uh, and then uh, if you look at the uh, dimensionality of the matrix which is driven by the uh, singular values in the diagonal elements of the singular value matrix, uh, we would be able to reduce the size of the uh, total uh, matrices by curtailing the size of the uh, singular values. I hope you remember that as well, right. So, in the same fashion, uh, we are going to be looking at a neural network to create a similar concept where we can create word embeddings. In the case of LSI, the left singular matrix, uh, if you are using a term context uh, matrix as the input and then use the SVD to decompose that into left singular, right singular and singular matrix. The left singular would contain the word embeddings and then the right uh, singular matrix would contain the context uh, embeddings and so on, right. Uh, so, if you really see how that happened. To understand whatever I mentioned, I will draw this in the matrix form, okay. Uh, this is your term and this is the context, right. When you decompose this, we get three different matrices like this, okay. And then here, this is your singular matrix where you will have lambda 1, lambda 2 and so on. This is your left singular matrix which is uh, giving you the word embedding. This one is your and this is the context, right, context matrix. So, the matrix sizes are defined by the number of elements in the left in the singular values. So, I can reduce this to a smaller number, so that my size of the left singular value reduces and the context also reduces to match the size of the singular matrix, okay. So, in that way I can just have the word embedding to be of size let us say 100 elements or 200 elements or 300 elements and depending on what is the kind of accuracy you want to have, you can increase the size of the elements in the word embedding. So, we are going to be doing a very similar approach using the neural networks and this course, uh, this session is all about this, okay. So, in this uh, uh, session, I will be talking about what is a continuous bag of words and then what is a skip gram model. Uh, and then what is one word learning, uh, how, what is the input layer uh, that we are going to be using and then what is the hidden layer, what is the size, how is it connected to the input layer and then there is an output layer and then how the output layer is connected to the hidden layer and later we will also see how those uh, input hidden weights and the output uh, hidden uh, and the hidden output weights are modified based on the loss function. Uh, and then uh, we will see how and what is learnt uh, during the process of the training. Uh, later we will see why this model is uh, extremely difficult to implement with respect to the size and then how we can 
reduce the computation complexities using subsampling, negative sampling and then hierarchical softmax and so on. And finally, we will talk about the limitations of the word to vec. Right? So, let us jump into the word to vec model. Uh, see the goal here is again very similar to what we saw in the LSI. Uh, we want to process each word in the vocabulary of words to obtain a respective numeric representation. Right? So, instead of just having it as a one hot vector, I want to represent the word uh, in terms of vector which contains about 100 elements, uh, 200 elements, 300 elements and so on and let us see how we can get to that level. And then we want to be able to reflect the semantic similarities when we try, when we finish training the network. We want to be able to capture this syntactic similarities when we uh, finish the training of the network or can we capture both in one shot. We will try to map the plurality of each uh, uh, words uh, to the respective vectors and then try to see how we can merge uh, the vectors so that it is a combination of the uh, respective vector. That is we are trying to combine multiple words which are uh, similar and then push them as one uh, vector. Okay. So, that is what we uh, mean by the plurality here. 